let's start our english from basic to advanced uh, i am going to start this lecture from letters alphabets words phrase clause sentence grammar and language uh, let we know what is letters letter mean written or printed sign representing a sound in speech for example a m n o p a etc or letters okay what is alphabets the expert advanced learner dictionary define alphabets as a set of letters or symbol in a fixed order used when writing a language alphabet must be in a fixed order okay while letter there is no need of fixed order uh, what is the function of letter uh, it makes a word okay uh, uh, look at this uh, um, set of uh, alphabets the individual unit of this uh, set is letter okay it is a single unit of alphabet the the single unit of this uh, set is a this is not a an alphabet this is a letter uh, it is a single unit of alphabets okay now coming to the uh, word what is word uh, the expert advanced learner dictionary defined word is sound or combination of sound that expresses a meaning and form an independent unit of the grammar or vocabulary of a language for example play cry i me etc are words in almost all of the words there are three things are common combination of letters are sometimes a single letter like i it is a single letter but it giving the meaning of words it is a full words here but it is a single letter okay sometime a single letter proper order of letter the letter must be in a proper uh, order like play play p l a y if we write this combination of letters uh, like this uh, l a y so it isn't giving any sense so it isn't it is not called a word it give meaning it must be meaningfulness okay uh, uh what is syllable uh, syllable mean the division of words into smaller unit having a vowel or vowel and a consonant or a vowel and two consonant or a vowel and a consonant blend for example i is a vowel okay this is one syllable m is a vowel in a consonant okay m this is a vowel and this is a consonant hat two consonant you know? two consonant are vowel and consonant consonant vowel consonant as vowel and consonant then etc uh, there are three types of syllable uh, uh, monosyllable are one syllable words uh, a word which cannot be split into parts it is called monosyllable like tall ball and or et etc it cannot be split into two parts okay bisyllable or two syllable words uh, a word which can be split into two parts is called bisyllable or two syllable words like beauty beauty bu is one syllable t is another syllable tall is one syllable er is another syllable this is a two syllable words fully syllable words fully syllable words mean a word which can be split into more than two parts okay a word which can be split into many parts a word or a word which can be split more than two uh, units is called polysyllable words like beautiful bu is one syllable t is another syllable full is another syllable this is a three syllable words are polysyllable words praise what is praise 
press is the combination or grouping of words having a verb and makes a part of the sentence. For example, asa, aisa, many student in the class. Okay, aisa, many student in the class. Uh, in the class is a press which uh, doesn't give any complete sense. It makes the parts of this sentence. Characteristic of press. Combination or grouping of words, no verbs make support of the sentence. These are the characteristic of press. Now, uh, what is class? Class is the combination or grouping of words having a subject and a verb and it makes a part of the sentence. Okay, for example, if you study hard, you can get success. Okay. Uh, characteristic of clause combination or grouping of words is a subject in a verb makes a part of the sentence two characteristic are same in clause and phrase combination or grouping of words makes a part of the sentence but one characteristic is different is a subject in a verb but in phrase there is no verb okay now what is sentence Sentence is the combination or grouping of words having a subject and a verb and must give a complete sense or meaning. Okay, uh, it must give a complete sense or uh, for example, Ahmad speak English very well. Uh, the characteristic of sentence is combination or grouping of words has a subject and a verb must give complete sense or meaning. Uh, what is grammar okay uh, the Oxford advanced learner dictionary define grammar as study or science of rules for forming words and combining them into sentences or a set of rules about a language is called grammar or rules and regulation of a language is called grammar uh, what is language? Uh, the expert advanced learner dictionary defined language is a system of sounds, pattern, etc. used by human beings to communicate thoughts and feelings. Actually, language is a, a tool of communications. In the next video, I will start from parts of speech uh, after that tenses. Uh, then active voice, spacey voice, after that direct and direct, then we'll go to linguistic.